Hello, you are welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be looking at how to check catalytic converter with scan tool. Scan tools can be handy for diagnosing issues with vehicles that are 1996 and newer. A cat converter is a unit that fits well into the front part of a car's exhaust system, which is close to the engine. Every catalytic converter that's well designed and placed in the exhaust system next to the machine can minimize all gaseous emissions drastically, including unburned hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, and soluble organic fractions. But how do you check the catalytic converter with a scan tool? The first thing to do is check engine light illuminates when you start the vehicle. After that, you can use a scan tool to determine why the check engine light has switched. A scanning tool will help you figure out what caused the check engine light to be illuminated. What happens when the catalytic converter goes bad? Catalytic converters don't usually fail on their own. When they fail, it's usually a symptom of a more significant problem. When the catalytic converter fails, it will begin to flow poorly because of being clogged up, and it will cause the car to run exceptionally poorly. Not only that, when the catalytic converter fails, it could leave the car to be sluggish in performance and eventually shut down the engine. How to use a scan tool to check your catalytic converter? Bad catalytic converters cause more than 70% of failures of emission tests. You must know how to use a scan tool to check your catalytic converter to determine whether it is working well or is faulty. Put your car's OBD2 scanning tool connector to the Diagnostic Link Connector DLC. Make sure you don't start the vehicle's engine. Only the ignition should be turned on. The scanning tool will have to diagnose the problem and reveal it via code. How do you diagnose a bad catalytic converter with scan tool? Your vehicle's catalytic converters can only function well if the engine is operating normally and the exhaust system isn't leaking. You can diagnose a bad catalytic converter with a scan tool with these 13 essential steps. Step 1, find and get the vehicle history. Note that drivability, performance, and car service history can help you while diagnosing. Step 2, correct other engine codes. Note, that any condition that increases your car's emissions or affects sensor readings can cause the CAT converter to fail diagnostics even when the converter is good. Step 3, correct exhaust system leaks. Step 4, inspect converter temperature. You can use an infrared thermometer to inspect the temperature of the CAT converter's front and rear weld rings. Step 5, check back pressure. When there's an excessive system back pressure, it can generate a converter efficiency code. Step 6, examine the oxygen sensor. Step 7, check the cooling system. Sometimes internal cooling system leaks can destroy a CAT converter. Step 8, check the fuel system. In the fuel system, there are a lot of things that can damage a CAT converter. Step 9, the fuel trim. Remember that the PCM will attempt to maintain an AFR of 14.7 to 1, which means it will use data from the vehicle's sensors, mainly the MAF and O2 sensors. Step 10, you should check emissions using a gas analyzer. Be aware that one of the most effective methods of solving the emissions problem is sampling exhaust gases. Step 11, perform cylinder balance testing. A cylinder that doesn't work as hard as the others would likely cause the emissions problem. Step 12, Mechanical Condition In a high mileage engine, many mechanical issues can contribute to high emissions. Step 13, Reflash the PCM In case you don't know, reflashing happens to be the process of updating the PCM, powertrain control module, with the latest program made available by your vehicle's manufacturer. I just hope this video was of help to you. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment.